As cases of coronavirus continue to rise across the globe, local agencies are taking steps to get ready in case the disease ramps up here. Camera 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller shows us the preventative measures happening in the South Sound. At Maple Lane Corrections Facility, the State Health Department is already taking steps to potentially turn this into an isolation and quarantine site. They've set up three RVs, a white tent, and extra fencing in case more coronavirus cases pop up. Can't predict the future, but we do know we want to plan. That's the motto health officials in the South Sound are taking as the coronavirus outbreak takes a toll on people across the globe. The disease has been detected in 37 locations, including in the U.S. Last month, a person tested positive in Washington. One case, I know it is horrible, but you know I wish it was zero. But compared to what we're hearing around the world, maybe it's a good thing. And if it's isolated, maybe we can contain it. Right now, the risk is low, but readiness is high. In South Thurston County, the State Department of Health set up RVs at Maple Lane, which is a Department of Corrections property. If needed, they'd use this site to isolate and quarantine people. Those in isolation would have potentially been exposed to the virus, have mild symptoms, and are unable to be isolated at home. People quarantined would have been potentially exposed to the virus, but have no symptoms and can't safely quarantine at home. I kind of go back and forth on it. My, my concern is there's a, you know, a couple schools really close, but at the same time, we have to do something, and I feel it's wrong to keep a lot of people, Americans especially, on these ships that are just incubators for the virus. In Pierce County, 45 health department workers spent the past five weeks learning, planning, and preparing for the worst. We've learned some lessons uh, from H1N1 and other situations that tell us this is the time to do it, time to prepare. They set up an emergency operations center to stay connected with schools, businesses, and the public in case the highly contagious virus emerges here. Plan for the, the worst, but hope for the best, right? The Tacoma Pierce County Health Department's already spent close to $100,000 on coronavirus prevention, planning, and communications. And that work could continue for months. It all depends on when and if any cases appear in the South Sound. Reporting in Tacoma, Shelby Miller. Cairo 7 News.